Hello, hi, howdy, hey. I'm Maximilian Robert Lockwood, and this is episode 11 of Bedhead. Uh, MRL Comedy is is the YouTube, is the webpage, is the brand. Um, I am... First of all, you know what we're going to do? We're going to start the day with some pleasantries, okay? We're going to talk about the weather, because isn't that a nice thing? Isn't that so very cordial? Uh... You know, they say, oh, I hate small talk and everything. But no, you really got to break the ice with some small talk. You can't just start talking about about huge things. Let's talk about the weather, okay? Um, and immediately go off the deep end by talking about uh, bomb cyclones, states of emergency, uh, mudslides, just all kinds of fun stuff. I remember back when I was in Santa Barbara years ago, uh, there was a big mudslide. And that was, it was awful. I mean, this was, what, 2018, and it shut down parts of the 101. It uh, was such that you would have to go, uh, normally the drive from L.A. to Santa Barbara is about two hours. You would have to go up and around, and it would take about four, four and a half hours, um, because that mudslide was caused by drought followed by heavy rains, and then that uh, loosened the, the earth that was parched and it would, went, uh, all the water gathered underneath the earth. Mudslide conditions. People died. Uh, people lost homes. Um, crazy, crazy stuff. And that's only going to get worse because right now we have bomb cyclone over in the East Coast. We have a bomb cyclone in the Bay. Um, and you might be thinking, oh, okay, well, you know, that's really good that you guys have a lot of rain here on the east, uh, excuse me, on the west coast, because that just means that, you know, now the drought's over and everything. Uh, you would think so, uh, but that's not how it works. If you just get a, you know, heaping acute uh, rain, then that's all well and good. And presently the snowpack is over uh, 200% of, of normal for this time of year for, uh, for California snowpack. Um, is that going to reverse the drought? No, it's not. Is that going to undo present drought conditions? Not for, not for any kind of lasting significance. Um, if you look at the Colorado River, if you look at Lake Shasta, if you look at, uh, water, uh, reservoirs that, uh, are, we are dependent on for sources of clean water and to really get the, uh, kind of the water cycle regulated here in the West Coast and Southwest, um, the water levels are, my God, they are terrifying. And, I mean, look at the number of lakes drying up. Look at the mega drought that's just affected the southwestern United States for years upon years upon years. And we still have climate deniers. I was just reading a report about um, CEI, uh the uh, Center for Environmental Impact, something like that, um, that is this conservative think tank that's just, oh, you know, they published a report talking about how there's a mega drought in Europe, and but this there's a mega drought in Europe uh, centuries ago, so clearly these are on cycles. There was a mega drought in, in China. Oh, but there was a mega drought in China back in the uh, 17th century, so clearly it's on cycles. Um, no, that is it's not how it works. Because of man-made global warming, we have more extreme weather and we are going to experience more frequent, more extreme weather. So that's why we have this rain right now is because, I mean, again, we typically don't get it. And we, if, if we were to have a reliable cycle, even if it was like minimal rain every year, that would be fine because then it would just be reliable. We'd have reliable snowpack. We'd have reliable water sources, freshwater sources. Um, instead of just a huge amount all at once, because again, it's not going to undo anything. I've, I've driven, uh, past Lake Shasta, um, up in NorCal, uh, twice year over year, September. And I remember seeing pictures of Lake Shasta, um, you know, at, at its capacity at, at full. And you see all these boats, you know, very, very pretty. And then I remember seeing pictures uh, about how mega droughts affecting the water levels in Lake Shasta and scary because you see where the water level should be. And then it is meters down from that. And then I drove past it. 
in 2021. And it was lower than that. And then I drove past it again this year, September in 2022, and it was lower than that. We are not doing nearly enough. And if we still have climate deniers, and indeed these are climate deniers with money, they're getting funding from the Rockefeller Foundation, they're getting funding from uh, the Walmart uh, family, the Waltons. So that means that there's a lot of money coming in and people are paying to have all of this science, uh, climate science, uh, and uh, overridden. Uh, they're sourcing, you know, actual corroborated uh, peer-reviewed science, and they're saying, oh, this is such, uh, you know, uh, this is sensationalist, and it's just the, the liberal media that wants you to think that this is ongoing. Peer-reviewed science is, uh, you know, real and peer-reviewed and decades upon decades worth of research um and they're calling it just oh this is you know liberal think tank uh uh you know shenanigans that that they're they want to uh, uh shut down oil companies etc cetera, etc cetera. yeah you know we don't want to shut them down so much i mean if they really wanted to what they could do is you know divest all right we could defund oil and uh, promote competition in alternative fuel sources. That would be really good, frankly. Um, and, and we're not doing that. And this is why we can't have nice things. So, um, I mean, uh, that's what I have to say about the weather. It's fun, right? Isn't that nice? Pleasantries. Everybody take care. Have a good day. And um, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.